It's great to be a Jesuit tiger. That was on the cover of the magazine I received uh, this last week. You know, my best memories, my best education all started here at Jesuit. I can remember the old chapel when I walked the halls. I can remember the classes. I can remember the challenge of being a, a student that was not understood, that being dyslexic and ADD makes it challenging. They didn't understand how to deal with people like me studying. But I had individuals like Father Hatchell, Father Rogers, Father Kelly. I mean, on and on that touched my life. The importance that I learned when I was a sophomore that uh, Father Kelly helped me, that I was going to possibly going to go to school at the University of Denver, what I thought had the best restaurant school. He gave me a book, and, and that was the plan. But as a uh, junior, I was being recruited by 20 schools to play football, and I was going to go to Michigan State and Minnesota with no intention of wanting to play college ball. And when I told Father Kelly, he says, do you think that's the right thing to do, to take advantage for yourself, to take a trip, to make yourself feel good when you're not going to go there? Those words ring with me every day, that my integrity, your integrity is the most important thing you have. You can never let anybody jeopardize that. When you give your word to others, you must keep it. In those times that I come at those moments and those challenges and my faith keeps me going strong. You'll look back hopefully like I will in those 50 some years and those memories. Jesuit did everything for me. At the age of 15, I met a young lady that was 13 at the dance after football. And I said, gosh, I want to dance with her. Everybody said, good luck with that. And I danced, but we didn't talk. And then I met her on May 28th when she became a cheerleader for Jesuit. She was 14, I was 16. And in the gymnasium, Young men like you were going to vote for him. I told him that's going to be my wife. They said, good luck with that. But I did marry her, and I've been married 51 years. The Lord has blessed me. I had two daughters. My daughter, Lauren, who attended the Academy of the Holy Names. My daughter, Andrea, who attended the Academy of the Holy Names, a cheerleader. But I'm proud today that I have two grandsons here. Alexander Shulman, who's a freshman, and Maximilian, who's a Caesar, senior. And then my grandson, Michael, graduated from here. The opportunity that you all have to, to take over the world is limitless. But you don't always, you have to have confidence in not always being right. I think I'm always right, but sometimes we're wrong. And when we're wrong, we learn those lessons because I both promise you that you will make mistakes. But I will tell you, though, you have a responsibility to, to not tolerate bullying from anybody. Like a young man that I knew from fourth grade, Bobby Donovan, that was being bullied because he was different. He was a genius that didn't live in this world. You have to have that courage to stand up for what is right, always. And don't be afraid to profess your, your faith. Respect all faiths. So as a student that uh, was challenged, I keep my four-year transcripts that I think they made them look better than they really were. <laughs> to share with those students, I was fortunate to have the education of a Jesuit high school. A friend of mine, Tom Dempsey, passed away, and this is the way I live my life, and is that he said that life is too short for pacing, sprint the whole way, never slow down, never forget your families, your friends, your faith and do not live a life with any regret. Always remember to tell those you love how much they mean to you. Always remember the friend that you see today that you might not tomorrow, how you thank them for being there by their side. The key is to never, never give up. My faith sometimes, my prayers are answered. Maybe not the way I expected but it becomes clear. 
like the day that the Lord told me I had to come coach football. I think it was 18 years ago here at Jesuit. My wife says, what are you doing? I have to do this. And the reason was there was a young man on that team, an African-American, the only one. And you know, I played with Leonard George, the first African-American to sign a scholarship at the University of Florida to score a touchdown, Tuscaloosa. And he was a running back, this young man. Everybody said he would not be a star, would not be a running back in the varsity team. He did. Told him to run for track. He signed a scholarship to Louisville. Set a record for rookies and I mean freshmen in running and for, ran over 211 yards against USF. Transferred to Georgia Tech. Got drafted by the Baltimore Ravens. And a few years ago, he brought the 50th anniversary Super Bowl trophy here. Because you see, he worked hard. He achieved that dream, which you as an athlete might have, of being a Super Bowl champion. And he called to see if I would come. And he came with his leather jacket and with tears. He said, can I take a picture with you? I didn't do anything. All I did was give him that belief that he can achieve. Those dreams that you say, people say you can't do. And those dreams that you strive for, you can achieve, you will. Thank your parents for this commitment. Thank yourselves for working hard to be here. And one day, never forget where you came from. As I like to say in my uh, sign off, and is here's to life and embracing each day with gratitude, with passion, compassion, empathy, integrity, love, kindness, and purpose. Because remember, the Lord gives perfect peace to those whose faith is firm. I've had people that have touched my life, and two Medal of Honor winners came to see me. And the gentleman says, Mr. Gonsworth. We came here, we were World War II, and we believe that you can help others. And they gifted me this cross from olive wood from Bethlehem. I still don't know why they selected me. But they've handed them, they sent me 50 more. It's a hope cross. I always keep extras in my pocket because I hope that you, too, will realize the dreams and success and making life better for others because you've been given that opportunity here at Jesuits. God bless each one of you. Best of luck. Thank you very much.